To be honest, sometimes I wonder why wandering around isn't part of a normal educational curriculum. Um, of course, I say this as somebody who loves wandering around. And as you can see, we're now in this, um, it's, I think it's called Waiterings Park. It's barely a park, but it, it is officially called a park. So it's this little sliver of grass. Um, I can't even tell you what this canal is called. <laughs> I mean, I've lived here forever, and I don't even know the name of this, this piece of water. But there you see in the background the twin towers of the Rijksmuseum. And uh, we're sort of, um, yeah, there's a little wobble, I'm sure. But we're casually strolling and just looking around and seeing what's up. Uh, as you can see, bits, there's even more and more green. And um, spring is, it, it's, it's, you know, it's just really, really close. It's that, it's so close. However, anyway, back to this wandering around thing. Um, I solve almost all of my problems by wandering around. So it could be that I've had an argument with somebody and I'm feeling so incredibly righteous. Then I go out and I walk and, and, in, and as I take one step after another, it's almost as if it fixes my brain and says, uh, or fixes my ego and says, uh, no, you are quite wrong in that one. So I have to uh, go and apologize or at least get a little wisdom. Sometimes you're, you're trying to work on a script or then it's just not happening. And so by walking around, you see somebody, a color, a shape, a movement, and that triggers all kinds of stuff in the mind. And I just think that it's part of being human. There's a no, oh, this guy's going to turn away. <laughs> yeah, see. Um, it's just part of being human. And, uh, yeah, but I'm not an educator. I'm just a person who wanders around while wondering about these things. So in the meantime, oh, there's another canal boat. I assure you, in, in a month's time, so four weeks from now, I'm, it's not necessarily that I'll be along this particular patch, but I, there will be a lot of boats. There goes the tram on the right. There'll just be boats everywhere, traffic jams of boats. So I hope I can uh, show you at least one of those boat traffic jams because they're really funny to look at, you know, and uh, the tourists are wondering, oh, you know, what's going on? Yeah, shouldn't this be easy? But anyway, that's how that goes. Back to the wandering. So we're almost at the edge, uh, at the end of this park. Well, we're not almost. We have to pass. Oh, yeah, there's a dog up there. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, almost at the end of this park. And there's, um, yeah, see, this is, this is, okay, this is the other side of wandering around. You can just lose your, your concentration. So I was actually looking at this group, yeah, here on the left, and see, yeah, that dog, which, uh, what are they going to do with it? No, they're not going to do that much with it. But anyway, so um, having been completely distracted and trying to get back to my thought, that's the thing with no scripts. Uh, yeah, wandering, the need to wander. I also think, uh, I remember reading, no, that's not true, I didn't read, I heard, I would listen to a podcast and they were talking about the human brain and the idea that the brain is, is um, our brain is quite big because of movement, the ability uh, to move. And if you think of, when you look at all these robots that you see um, coming up, how, how amazed we are when they can just about do something that slightly mimics uh, a human movement. And then... You, you try and get it to do something more complex and it just shuts down. And, and that is just how amazing we are. So wandering around, I think, is great exercise for the mind just to keep yourself in balance. Again, no medical, <laughs> absolutely no medical stuff whatsoever. Okay, oh yeah, by the way, we're just going up now. We're, this, because this park is so small, we're going back into it, but we're going out. This is the waiting scan, there goes the tram. And we're going to... Uh, I'm going to try and ease uh, to the right. So I'm very curious how wobbly this is um, by the time we get it done. As a cyclist, I mean, cyclists everywhere. This is Amsterdam, so you need to see bicycles. So now we're out of the park, but we're basically back in it again, as you can see on the right. So I'm just going to um, sort of wander a little, see, wander again, wander a, a little and uh, take a right turn. Uh, there's one of those posters for, I don't know, something in the theatre. Yeah, it's actually quite interesting to see the posters. I, I like looking at posters quite a lot for things. Why? I don't know. But that's because I wander. I wander and I see. So, ooh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, please don't get too dizzy. Um, yeah, so now here we are. I'm just going to stop at this point and say, uh, I think we can then say goodbye. 
to the park and say bye to Reichsmuseum, which you see in the background.